Let's say you've been designing a project for over a week and you just found out the client wants to review your work. You'll quickly start cleaning up your files and renaming parts to make it easier to navigate the assembly. You then go to open up your assembly and get the error, unable to locate the file. Are you going to be able to fix it in time to get it to the customer? You might wonder, why did this happen? How can I fix it? How can I avoid this in the future? While most SOLIDWORKS users have ran into a references error like this before, many don't know about all the different techniques that can be used to fix and avoid this in the future. Let's go back to the start of the rena renaming process and review the correct methods to rename the files. If you just rename or move files like you would with other types of files, you are going to break references. SOLIDWORKS files create a, creates a web of references that link files together. For example, if you open up a drawing, the drawing then loads the reference assembly, the assembly then opens the reference subassembly, and the parts in the background until it finds everything that it needs to open the drawing. If you right click on a file, you will see a few options. Just the regular rename will break references. But you should also see a SOLIDWORKS option and several options to help manage your files. In this case, the rename option opens up a dialog box that can, be, that can be used to rename files and update references. You'll want to make sure the update where used checkbox is marked to update the files that have references to this part. If you do not check it, references will be broken. The file locations dialog allows you to add additional file locations that might have files that reference that part. Renaming this way allows you to maintain references. This method will work, but it can take a while if you have a lot of files to rename. So another method is to rename files within the assembly. To rename within an assembly, you'll first need to change your system options. So go ahead and click the gear icon at the top and go to your feature manager and you'll want to enable the option to allow component files to be renamed from feature manager tree. It is important to know that this option will only be available for SOLIDWORKS version 2016 and newer. Once the option is enabled, you can just rename the parts like you would any regular Windows file. You can slow double click it or click on it once and press the F2 key to edit it. Just change the name and this will temporarily rename it. To lock in the changes, click save and then save all. It is very important to check the update where used references checkbox. Without the checkbox, it will update references for any files open, but not any other files that aren't currently open. Add any additional file paths that aren't in your SOLIDWORKS file, file locations and everything is renamed with the references updated. I also want to note that some users will use the save as command to rename files, but I would not recommend this for everyone because it will only update the file references for the current files that are open. Now let's say that you have links that are already broken that you're trying to fix. There aren't always quick options to resolve this, but you do have a few options. You can obviously use the dialog box shown to browse to and select the file that isn't there anymore and then repeat for each file missing. If the files were just moved and not renamed, an understanding of how SOLIDWORKS searches for references and in what order can help resolve this. SOLIDWORKS first searches for any currently open documents in RAM and then goes through a search order including the folder specified in your file locations and the folder the assembly you just opened is in. You can use this to your advantage to get the files in the correct location to be found again. Another method is before you open assembly, you can also use the references button to see where the file was last located and to specify what reference file to use when you open the file next. This is great to link several updated files at once or to force the assembly to bring in a new reference file. After you open the document, saving it will lock, it, will lock in the references. The last thing that has to be mentioned is the power of SOLIDWORKS PDM to overcome data management problems. While I won't go into the details in this video, it can immensely help and the time and resources spent to get it set up and managed is nothing compared to the headaches that it saves for part naming, revision control, and collaboration during the design process. As always, if MLC CAD Systems is your reseller, feel free to reach out, with a, reach out to us with any questions. We are here to help.